guys and welcome back to Adventures of Minecraft. We're back here last time where we left off at my base, my main base. And if you're new to the show, make sure you subscribe guys. Um, there's a lot of stuff I've been working on here and I would love for you to see it. And uh, if you've like, been watching the series for a long time, you would know how much effort I have put into creating this base. Okay, so I think... Hmm, because last time I want, said I wanted to start bringing the horses back and through the rail, but we need a place for them to go. And uh, I picked out a really nice place. Let me just check if my game mode is on. No, I think my render distance should be on far. Far, please. And then... Oh, I've got it on fast anyway, but I've got the trees still see-through. Which is a nice sort of feature you can do in Optifine. Anyway, we need to find a room for the... Uh, a room? A space for the horses to go. Let's do these. Okay, so... I cleared this space out a long time ago between apps between series two and three of Adventures of Minecraft. Look, that creeper stuff is still here. And um, I feel this is a really nice place to put um, sort of like a villager area. Um, we can actually fix up villagers now and make them back normal again, so that would be perfect. Um, I, I think a mine shaft in here would be kind of cool too. After I finished recording the last episode, I was thinking to myself, and I was like, what would be a really nice feature by here? And I think putting like some sort of um, rustic field mine shaft entrance. Where's this gravel coming from? But with a sort of abandoned feel to it. I think that would look nice carved in here. So let's just make a small carve in here. And uh, get some wood, put some beams along here. I think that would look kind of incredibly nice. But we need a place for horses. Um, we need a better view as well. So let's move on up here. <laughs> I did see a creeper in the last episode. And he's still here probably lurking behind me. Yeah, my next door neighbor's dog is barking again. Okay. So we can put a gravel track coming out here. Going straight to the mine and then have a diagonal road there. Hmm. Where would the horses go? I think the horses would look nice, backed up against the trees, have different sort of, um, how would you put it, different sort of huts with trees, um, with horses in, not trees. Yeah, let's just put a horse in a hut. A tree in a hut, sorry. Damn. Yeah, so let's get some materials ready and start doing that. I just literally finished recording some um, Left 4 Dead. That game was out for the Sega Dreamcast a long time ago, and I've been having lots of fun playing that game. Um, that series is out on my channel at the moment. I'm just pretty much playing through it. I'm going to complete the game with every single character available. And, uh, yeah, just bring relive the memories of when I was younger. This is like my random sort of item chest. I'll keep the coal... Don't want the never rack. Iron ore can go in here for smelting. How are we looking for iron? Mm, we're looking quite sparse. The reason why we're quite short on iron at the moment is because of the beacon. Mm, that beacon needs to move too. It needs to go somewhere. Okay, so let's go down to the storage area. My redstone storage area, which I am very proud of. It's just down here, down under the ground. Somewhere safe. Walk on in. And voila! And there seems to be a block missing right by there. How did that happen? So we've got this nice little design, the ceiling. Nice lowered floor. Okay, so wood. We are going to use... We're going to go with a birch. And um, some birch sapling. Spruce sapling, sorry, would be nice. Um, so we'll get a nice little tree farm going. <clears throat> Do we have any bones? Of course. We don't have any bones. We need a crafting bench. I really do love this storage area. It is pretty boobs. We'll take some oak, of course. And how are we doing for stone? Not too well. Cobblestone. We've got loads of... Um, I think that will do for the start. Um, get some bone meal, obviously. Oh, one bone. One bone? Damn, okay, whatever. 
Yay, it all shuts when you leave. <laughs> I'm really proud of that design. Can you hear that? I can hear something walking around. What the hell? Get out! Oh, it's these damn ocelots. That doesn't need to be here anymore. That was there when I was using that. Right but there. Okay. Out. Out. Let's go. I was going to put a door here for maintenance to access the, the inside of the, the fortification, fortified walls. But I never really got round to it. Okay. Let's go. Let's go and plot out an area. And plant these bad boys. If we get a nice tree farm going out here, that would be pretty epic. Um, let's do it a little bit further down. I've spammed so many torches around here. Um, the chances of there being actually mobs is quite slim, but I haven't actually experienced a zombie sort of apocalypse yet. I have no idea if spruce grows like that either. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't experienced a zombie apocalypse yet. So um, we're pretty much going to experience that during this build for sure. Okay, so I cleared the area out. It comes all the way up here. I actually terraformed this mountain and it comes up here and I think this is perfect um, to, to even put like a boat lake on here or something. I think that would be really nice. Okay, so the huts. The huts, where are they going to go? Oh yeah, silk touch um, gives you that. That's pretty cool. Silk touch on a... She is... Of course. Oh, and I put some coal in here too with silk touch, um, just to make it look more, more authentic, I guess. Oh, I could have, I should have done this. Okay, let's let's just do this. See, I'm rambling on and messing around now. I should get on with the job, juicy. You're taking forever. Okay, whatever. So, we need to clear the ground. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so. We need to put, think about how horses work now, the mechanics, because they can't go through a single gate. They need to have a double gate, so we can't have a center block uh, for a horse pen. So that could be one horse pen. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Um, let's keep going. So let's say there'll be two in here, two in here. Uh, keep going though. Let's get all the dirt. This is going to come in handy. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I think more. We should go as far as five. Um, so the building on this, I'm going to like plot it out. Stop building today, guys, but... <clears throat> like always, if I do anything I, I'm not too sure of, or if I don't like it, um, I usually fix it up off camera. Like so. And one more. One more for luck. So this is going to back up against here. Actually, I went back a little bit too far then. Okay. So as well as having the horse pens, uh, we need uh, a field sort of area. So I think I'm going to clear a lot of the woodland behind behind here as well. Um, so we can have like a, f like a field of horses. Maybe we can throw some different animals in here as well. So let's do that. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump cut now, guys. I'm going to clear a little bit of space behind here. Um, need to pick up some gravel as well from the storage area, which I was meant to do, but I didn't. And uh, I'll be back in just a second. Okay, we are back in action. My axe broke, so we kind of need to sort that out today. Let's go and double check if we got any efficiency books that we can put on here. Um, efficiency one. Efficiency, efficiency. Any in here? And we've got sharpness. Okay. Let's see if we can combine these two books. I'm not sure. Whoa. Zomble? Zomble? Whoa. 
you in here? Well, that proves that my mob spawner still works. <laughs> I left it on since the last episode. Okay. And we will eat this. Where the hell did that dog sound come from? Okay. So we're going to merge these and then go back down. Just go and see what happens. Two. And then... Four. Perfect. Perfecto. Okay. So let's go on down. Okay, we're back. And it looks like we have a mammoth tree. I really did not want them to grow in like mammoths. Oh well. Well, I've gonna make a bed so we don't have to keep running back to my home all the time then go here perfect okay so I cleared a little bit of this room I haven't done too much of it um, I can't go too far unless I kind of had a clear idea of what I would like so we're gonna start working on one of the stalls it is going to well a sheep stall I guess and it's gonna be a draft design and uh, I want you guys to let me know in the comments what you think of it Clear this one last tiny whiny tree. You get like these tiny trees that grow on the floor. Look at that sheep down there. That sheep has been there. Well, there's two. Those sheep have been there since the beginning of time. Since I first arrived in this distant land called Juicyville. Okay, so let's get the gravel on the bar. We'll start working on this one by here on the far right okay so my initial idea is to do like a V roof design like an apex but I kinda wanna stay away from that cause it's a very generic design that you see in a lot of minecraft and I kind of used it a lot already in my village so I don't wanna do that but I'm kinda thinking if we have individual stalls for horses of course and have a single roof for the entire thing that goes at an angle like this so the highest point would be here and the lowest point would be here so the roof covers the entire place but the stalls are still marked up as individual sort of horse stands I keep calling them stalls like market stalls I don't mean market stalls I mean I mean possibly I can't find the find the word I'm looking for but but I mean individual sort of horse pens but horses don't have pens do they pens are more pens are more for like sheep and stuff like that and we could finally sleep out here oh and there's a new optifine version available if anyone's interested okay so we should have a shit ton of wood we have so many jungle planks so i think this is going to help us out make fences actually this is gonna help us make quite a lot of fences and then this can be gates six gates perfect and then the rest here this is what I feel jungle wood is best for just making fences and gates and chests and anything that the color doesn't really affect because I don't really like the color of it hmm okay so we're gonna work on this one so we you and you I think I may have gone a bit too far at the back that would definitely hold a horse though okay so as well as that we need some logs spruce logs see this is gonna take a while let me jump cut and get some logs okay we're back okay so we need to map out the lowest area of the roof first otherwise if we just go up here and start making it go down um, we could potentially have the roof on this section way too low so we're gonna use these as markers um, one two three one actually I think two would be a good height I'm pretty sure about it because I don't mind this one being excessively low and then we need to do these one and then same here okay and now this needs to go up uh, one block at a time 
It would be nice to have my um, the cam studio installed, but I don't like installing mods for uh, my vanilla series, is, if that's totally fine with you guys. I don't like using mods. The only mod I would use is Optifine, really, because that's just the way it goes. Okay, so we just have it like this. And then like this. So there's going to be a lot of... Um, a lot of tediousness going on in here, but it's going to go all the way like that, all the way across. Um, so this roof potentially is going to be massive. So we can make a feature building on this end here. Um, maybe we can have the actual sort of... If you're having a field behind here, the entrance to the field um, being by here. So we can have another building but like here and here with a gate that takes you around the back into where the horses are kept. Potentially a nice idea. I take full credit for that. Okay. Yeah, so I think using dirt is going to be the way to go. Maybe. How do I... How would I... Put another block here? It just means I have to break this now. Which is kind of not what I intended on doing. Okay, well that's going to work. Once I get this side done, all I have to do, ouch, is go like this anyway. So it's only the one side I need to do. I don't have to do this tedious job all the way along. I think some stairs would look really nice in that, in like every other two. Oh yeah, I cut down that massive tree as well. It took ages. <laughs> Let's collect all this. I'm only interested in the spruce really because Oh, there we go. Some more. Because the oak, sa oak saplings drop like crazy. Like, you, know, you just never run out of oak. At all. And I think the tree farm is going to be that big. If I make it any bigger, it's going to be excessively huge. It's going to be stupid. It's going to be ridiculous long. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to do the roof. Um, get some more wood when these bad boys grow and um, I think we're gonna call that a day for the episode guys um, It takes a long time to do these things unfortunately But that's the reality of playing minecraft minecraft legitimately You don't start a series and call it adventures of minecraft and on your sixth episode have an entire fucking base done like that <sighs> Yes Okay, well, I'll be back once I get this all fixed up, so see you in a moment. Okay, and we are back. I kind of made the apex anyway, even though this side is a little bit lower, which is... I don't know, it might be okay. We'll have to think about it in the future. But I did go all the way up, and as you can see, that is really, really too high up there. So I have to come to some sort of compromise, because I don't want it to be higher than my castle. My sort of tower by here. I know it's not a big tower on my castle. Or my fortified village, as I like to put it. But, yeah, I don't really want it to be be taller than the main feature. Otherwise, that would just be silly. Can I reach? No. Reach. Reach. Damn. Job. Okay, yeah. So... Pretty much got the roof up now. Um, I kind of like it myself. I like the idea that let's collect these. I like the idea that it spans the the sort of horse areas underneath. Also, something I have done. I have made the fencing. I put the fencing outside the gravel on here, um, just so there's a bit more space in here. It feels much more better like that. Something I wanted to do before we finish the episode, though was to get some steps like so and try some I know I can't put them on every single upside down block here but I can put them on every other I don't know that looks kind of weird what if I filled whoops filled these areas in Take this one off. Actually, I could put another step there. Let's have a look. There needs to be some change in uh, 
because it's all one color wood the, I need to put buttons on here and stuff I actually do think that overhang looks okay so I'm gonna go with that um, one thing I need to change on here for sure is where the apex location is for definite because it's too centered if I have it it means this needs to be a little bit steeper by here, which I can do using steps. Maybe if I use steps and... Because I want the apex to be over here, of course. But uh, yeah, you can kind of see what I'm doing here, but I'm going to work on this away from camera anyway. Yeah, it's almost finished. I'll do these. And that, and that. Okay, so you got the bare bones idea. Um, I'm gonna work on this away from camera. So in the next episode, expect something epic from me. But uh, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Um, any ideas? Like always, let me know in the comments. What the hell? Oh, the wood down there needs to be changed. Okay. Anyway, guys, like always, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't, and I shall be seeing you soon with some more adventures of Minecraft. So peace out.